Um, hello everyone, Pumpkin here. I know a while ago I started a how-to series on how to make AMVs. Unfortunately, that didn't go very well because I haven't updated them in months. Sorry about that. My plan was to edit a full AMV from start to finish. I still like that idea, but since I haven't worked on the video in so long, it's really hard to start where I left off. So I thought I would start a new AMV tutorial series and try to stay consistent. Fingers crossed. For the first video, I'm just going to give you some general tips on AMV making and how you can make your videos better. But for my next one, I want you all to help me choose. So make sure to post in the comments on what tutorials you would like to see next, and then I'll go from there, okay? So first of all, decide what kind of AMV editor you want to be. So you need to decide if you're really serious about AMV editing. And at first, I really wasn't but now I kind of am. And that really does influence how you make AMVs because it, it kind of depends on, you know, what kind of program you're gonna buy or if you're gonna buy additional effects. So if you're not really serious about being an AMV editor and it's really just something you wanna do when you're really bored, you probably don't need to buy really an expensive program. But if you're even just kind of interested and you think it might become a really full-fledged hobby or even a job, I would seriously consider investing in a really nice program. And that moves me on to my next point, which is to choose an editing program you feel comfortable with. I started off editing with Windows Movie Maker, and it was nice for the while that I had it. I used it for around two or three years, but when I got more serious with AMV editing, it just didn't have the capacity for what I needed to do. So I upgraded to Sony Vegas Movie Studio, and that was nice for a while too, but even then, I was still moving ahead, and I needed to do some different things, and it just wasn't working anymore, so I upgraded even more to Sony Vegas Pro. Now, I have bought all of these programs. I am certain that there's pirating that goes on with them. I can't lead anybody to any sites where you can get them for free. I know that Sony Vegas has a ton of trials, and I also know that there's other programs like iMovie and Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere, so you do have a lot of options. It's just, if you're really going to be serious about it, you're going to have to move up a little bit from Windows Movie Maker, but that doesn't mean you have to use Sony Vegas like I do. You can use Adobe if you feel more um, comfortable with that. You just need to choose the program that does what you need for you. You don't have to copy anybody. And that actually leads me into my third point, which is don't try to copy other AMV editors. It really won't get you anywhere, and I say this from experience because I have copied people before and even now sometimes I struggle with copying people because I do have a very slow editing style. You all know it. It's very emotional and, you know, storytelling type and, you know, it's popular to an extent on YouTube, but I know for some people it might feel like you need to do a lot of videos that have a lot of effects and this is not me saying that effect videos aren't nice because they are great and I love them and I wish sometimes that I could edit more like that but edit the way you like to. You just have to find your own style. You don't have to copy somebody else who's already popular. You can become popular in your own right. You can do whatever you want. You need to do what represents you. And for me, storytelling and um, emotional AMVs that have good timing but are not really, you know, effect-oriented, that's just what I'm good at. And I decided that I need to stick with that because even if it might not always get the most views or it might not be what everybody likes, um, it's what I like and that's really important. So for my fourth point then, pick a style and stay consistent. For the most part, you don't want to be all over the place. You know, you want people to recognize you and like you for a certain thing. I mean, people watch and subscribe to people for different reasons. People don't subscribe to me for effect videos, just like they want to subscribe to somebody else for, you know, storytelling videos. People subscribe to people for different reasons. Have a reason for people to subscribe to you. It's really important because otherwise, people don't really know what to expect from you and Although that kind of seems good, it kind of doesn't because subscribers like people for a reason. So, like I said before, just find your reason and you should be pretty golden. And finally, for my fifth point, have fun. And I know this seems like kind of cliche and like, of course, yeah, duh, I'm gonna have fun. But no, this is really important. If making AMVs is not fun, um, don't do it <laughs> because it's just kind of like a job. and. 
we all know how jobs can stink when you're just doing it to do it. You're not doing it because it's fun. AMVs should be a lot of fun. So if you feel like an AMV you're working on isn't fun anymore, either take a break or abandon it. I can't tell you how many AMVs I've abandoned. And it's not, it's, it is kind of sad when you don't finish an AMV, but sometimes it just means that that song wasn't you or what um, anime you were editing with wasn't you or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Making videos should be fun. So those are just my, you know, five points of, you know, good A and B editing. And once again, please leave um, some comments on what tutorials you'd like to see next. And I'll try to upload as soon as possible. I'm going to try and make this a weekly thing. I really want to keep up with this. So just leave in the comments what you want to see next in the tutorial. And um, Pumpkin will see you soon.